It's just awesome. It smells like chocolate, which makes me happy, which puts me in a good mood for the day. All good things. You spent all this time on your foundation and then your blush jacks everything up. These don't jack things up. Hey guys, welcome back. So I've got part one of my 2015 favorite series for you guys. I think I'm gonna do this in like a three part type of deal. Um, today's gonna be face products. So it's gonna be foundations, concealers, powders, bronzers, highlighters, blushes, all those kinds of things. Um, and then I think I'm gonna do two more in this series because I just have too many things that I wanted to talk about and I just had a terrible time narrowing down. So I think we're gonna do three parts. So today is part one face products. So let's jump into it. So starting with primers, you guys know in the past, I've not really been a primer girl, but I really did fall in love with the Hourglass Mineral Veil Primer this year. It's just awesome. This is a little sample size. It does everything. I mean, it cancels out discoloration, redness, fills in fine lines and pores, and just really helps prep your skin for makeup. And I think that it really does help with the longevity as well. So this is definitely my favorite primer. For foundations, these two will always be holy grail status for me. Estee Lauder Double Wear Stay In Place Makeup. I wear it in 2-in-1 Desert Beige. This is really more of my summer color, but I can still make it work for the winter months too. And then the Lancome Tint Eye Doll Ultra 24 Hour Makeup. I wear this one in 210 Buff. I just absolutely love both of these. They have wonderful coverage. They're really long wearing. They just have a beautiful finish. Love them so much. And then two that I really kind of discovered and fell in love with in 2015 are these two. So the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte Foundation. Oh my goodness, this is amazing. This gives us the most beautiful finish. It is pretty matte. So sometimes I wear it by itself, but a lot of times I mix it with other things. But it's just a beautiful pro matte, well not pro matte, demi matte sort of a finish on your skin. I wear it in 102 Shell Beige. It's just, it's awesome, gorgeous, love it, super long wearing. And then also the IT Cosmetics CC Cream. I just think this is awesome. You know, I've tried other CC creams and I like the Garnier one okay. I think that one's actually pretty nice but I like this one a lot more. It just has a really nice creamy texture to it. It gives really nice coverage. It's got great ingredients. SPF 50, I mean, I can just go on and on about this and I wear this in light. For concealers, I used this one a lot in 2015, the NYX HD Concealer, and I wear it in CW03. Um, it just has great coverage. It's kind of like a really awesome all-in-one kind of concealer. So under eye circles, you can use it for that. Blemishes on your skin, discoloration, whatever. I keep these in my freelance kit because they are that kind of do it all concealer. So I don't have to have multiple different kinds. This can just get it all done. So I love that I use it a lot this year. And then my like magic combo of three concealers that these are like go-tos for me. The Maybelline Dream Lumi, I don't know the full name, Dream Lumi Touch Highlighting Concealer, long name. I wear it in ivory, and then the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Eraser Dark Circles, I wear this in light, and then the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer, mine looks disgusting, in NW20. These are awesome. I mean, I use this one first, then I use this one, then I use this one. I don't know, I just feel like the three of them are so good together. I show these in my full coverage foundation routine because they're just kind of my go-to concealer trio right here. They just work really well together. For powders, I use this little combination through most of the year and I think these work so well together. I like them both individually, but for some reason using them together I think is a really nice combo. So first the NARS All Day Luminous Powder Foundation. This is in light to Mont Blanc. Oh my gosh, I love this for my T-zone. I don't know what it is about this powder. It's just so finely milled. It has nice coverage, but it's not cakey. I just find it to be so pretty, especially in the T-zone. I don't know, it just gives this really natural look to that area on your face because I don't wanna be, I have kind of combination skin, so I can get pretty oily in my T-zone, so I don't wanna look glowy there, but I don't also, I don't know, I don't wanna look flat, matte, and unhealthy or something. So I really like that powder because I think it has a really nice natural finish. Same with this one. This is the Sephora Micro Smooth Baked Face Compact. I wear it in light 15. 
This is really similar to some of the MAC powders, but it's just really finely milled, blends into the skin so nicely. It's not flat matte, but it's also not super luminous or dewy looking. So these just both have a really nice finish to them, but they also set your makeup really well and wear throughout the day. And then I have to mention this powder. This is the Your Minerals Sweden Transparent Veil. So I got this in one of my BoxyCharm boxes, and I remember when I got it, I thought, oh cool, another face powder, that's always nice to have in your collection, but I wasn't like jumping up and down over a face powder. But then once I started using it, I really fell in love with it. I don't know what it is about this one specifically, because it's kind of that like, I don't know, poofy, fly away sort of, I don't know, setting powder. So it doesn't like look especially amazing or different, but something about it, like you can even see it poofing, like a little fairy dust or something. Um, something about it seemed to set my makeup without it looking cakey, without it looking too matte, um, or like, I don't know, sometimes those transparent setting powders can look a little funny on my skin. And a lot of times I'm actually not a fan of them, certain ones, but I really do like this one. It just looks beautiful on the skin, sets the makeup really nicely, wears really well throughout the day. Okay, now on to bronzers and highlighters. So contouring kits were pretty big in 2015, and I tried a number of them. I could name several different ones that I really did enjoy. Um, like I liked the Wet n Wild ones. Those are awesome for around $4. I love the Shade and Light palette from Kat Von D. But my overall favorite, I have to pick the IT Cosmetics My Sculpted Face palette. I don't really know what it is about this palette, but I just love it. I think part of it is the colors. Like, the colors work really well for my skin tone because a contour kit, you really have to find the one that works for your skin tones. For my fair complexion, these work really well. Even a little bit of this one, I can use this as an eyeshadow. I have to be a little careful of this one anywhere else on my face because it's pretty dark, but these just blend like a dream. The texture of these powders is amazing. This highlighter is absolutely gorgeous. Oh my gosh, it's awesome. So these just have such a nice texture and I love the color selection. It's in a nice little compact form. This is great. But then my overall favorite bronzer is the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil. Just the regular one, not the milk chocolate. I don't know what it is about this, but this is like my bronzer when I'm getting ready in the morning and I'm just kind of going through the steps and I go to grab for a bronzer. If I'm not kind of like as, I don't know, not that this isn't creative, but you know those days where you just like grab for your holy grails, your tried and true kind of products, this is what I grab for. So I don't want to say it's like not on my creative days, but it's just in those days where I need something that I know works for me. This is that bronzer. It's just a really great, I don't know, mid-tone bronzer color, and it's matte, so it just contours really nicely, but it warms up your face nicely. It's just awesome, it smells like chocolate, which makes me happy, which puts me in a good mood for the day. All good things, beautiful packaging, I love it. For highlighters, I have so many that I love that I could have mentioned, but I tried really hard and I narrowed down to two that I feel like were just standouts for me in 2015. So first is Max Soft and Gentle. I picked this one because this is just a go-to for me and it was a go-to in 2015. It's just one of those never fail me highlighters. So just like the Chocolate Soleil is a never fail me bronzer, this is a never fail me highlighter. It just is so glowy and beautiful. It can be applied a little bit more subtle or you can really build it up and get a bam highlight going, but it's just, it just never fails me. I love it. And I feel like this works on so many different skin tones. It's just beautiful. But then this came in at the end of the year, kind of, I don't remember when this was, maybe like fall time. This is the Ofra and Dupe That highlighter like collaboration that they did. This one is in You Glow Girl. There were two and I really like the other one too, but this one is the standout for me. I mean, I just, oh. This is gorgeous. I'm wearing this on my cheeks today, on my cheekbones. This is wha-bam. I mean, this is like a no-joke highlighter, but it's an amazing no-joke highlighter. It's right there. It's got like a kind of like a pinky tone to it. Oh my goodness. I love this so much. So if you haven't tried these, they're awesome. But this one is my favorite of the two. The other one is kind of more like peachy gold, 
which I think would be really, I still can wear it. I was actually surprised that it does still work on my fair complexion, but I think it would be even more amazing on deeper complexions. Like it's just so pretty, but the texture on these is really nice. It's kind of like a, I don't know, almost like a Mary Luminizer kind of a texture, um, which makes it pretty dramatic. So this one is a little bit harder to go subtle with, but it's always gonna look amazing because it's just, it's one of those wabam awesome highlighters. And then finally for blush, again, this was really hard for me to narrow it down, but I did narrow it down to four things I'm gonna mention to you. So first off, these were go-tos for me. These are never fail me blush colors that if I had any kind of makeup look really going, these would work with it. So these were just ones that I kept grabbing for. This one came kind of a little bit later in the year, but they're still ones that I just love so much. So Benefits Rock Couture, this is kind of like a warm, glowy, sort of a neutral blush color. It's amazing, oh my gosh. I would be so sad if I did not have that blush. And then this one is Chanel's Jersey. Oh my gosh. This is so fancy and amazing, and the color is just perfection. You can see that it has kind of like, both of them, Rock Tour is a little bit warmer, but they both have that kind of like blush look that's almost going towards a bronzer sort of a look because they're that really neutral sort of a tone. So you could even get away with like not bronzing your face one day and just using these, I think, because they have that kind of like, I don't know, warm, healthy look to them. But they're just like no brainer awesome blushes, they just work. And then I was really impressed with these Too Faced Love Flush Long Lasting 16 Hour Blushes. This one is in I Will Always Love You, and this one is in Justify My Love. This is the, like, obviously the regular size. This was part of the little um, holiday gift set or whatever, so that's why it's cute and little. Um, but these are just really nice blushes. They have a really nice formula to them. They blend really nicely into the skin. They don't drag, but they're also pigmented. They are really long wearing. So the 16 hour I think is a true statement about these. So I love the formula on those. And then I also really love the formula on the Cheek Pops from Clinique. These are awesome. They just blend so nicely into the skin. They're really effortless to use. Um, they just are not a frustrating blush to use. You know, if like blush gets frustrating, if it drags on your skin and it looks patchy, you spent all this time on your foundation and then your blush jacks everything up. These don't jack things up. They really have a wonderful formula. So this one's Heather Pop, this one's Nude Pop. I don't know if I already said that about this one, but anyway, these are go-to colors. Just love the formula on them. Same with the Too Faced ones. Great texture on both of these blushes. All right guys, so that wraps up part one of my 2015 favorites. So I hope that you really enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you did and definitely let me know down below some of your favorite face products for 2015. I always enjoy hearing your favorites and your suggestions to me. Ask me any questions that you have, I'm happy to answer those. Please subscribe to my channel if you're not already and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.